What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to do quick one minute skin smoothing in Lightroom. Sometimes you're editing a ton of photos at once and you just need to do something quickly to send samples to a client and you don't really want to spend 10 minutes on every picture. So this method will teach you how to get about 90% of the way there in way less time. We post new videos and resources every week so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also visit newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get exclusive subscriber only offers. Let's get started. So here's the before image and here's the after and I'm going to show you the quick tricks that I can do to smooth skin in Lightroom. So I'm going to come and choose my before image and hide these thumbnails. And I'm going to come over to my adjustment brush tool and before I start painting I'm going to set the temperature to negative 100. And that's just going to make it easier to see as we paint. So I'm going to increase the size of the brush and paint on the face and all the places that I want to smooth. Then I'm going to zoom in on my image and holding Alt I'm going to unpaint the parts that I don't want to smooth. So that would be the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth. This is probably the most time consuming part of this but the mask doesn't have to be very detailed or accurate. I'm also going to paint on the nostrils here just because I want them to be a little sharper. So I'll zoom back out and now that I have my mask painted I'm going to set the temperature back to zero and I'm going to come down and set the texture to negative 65, the clarity to negative 35 or so. And one of the most important parts of this is setting the dehaze to about negative 10. So you'll see if I move the dehaze all the way to the left it basically creates a semi-transparent layer over the mask based on the colors that are behind it. So what it can do is really even out the skin tones Granted that you don't push it too far. So negative 10 to negative 20 is usually the best. And that's it. So I'm going to close my adjustment brush. And again, you can see the before and the after. So if you're working with a whole bunch of photos and you need to send some samples to a client quickly, this method works really well because you don't have to spend a ton of time smoothing skin on hundreds of images. That's it for now, guys. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want to learn next. We create new content based on the feedback you guys give us, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver. Thanks for watching New Layer. See you next time.